welcome back to the channel after last week we're staying on us we're staying on the same theme because does harbor freight have the stuff to detail vehicles we'll see about that because look at what we just picked up this is a handheld steam cleaner dude they, this they say now this is a good brand right yep grants grants is a great name brand harbor freight started carrying this it's the brand new uh, to them i think they've had this thing around for a while but to harbor freight this is new yep um but look at all the stuff it comes with hunter i might let hunter come in here and talk to you about what all it comes with but i'm excited about this now this thing's not the it's not like the last thing we done the bauer shop back thing which we were very impressed with it was 24.99 this one's a little more expensive yeah, but it, is. it you can do more things with it like you can use on your home your, you'll see because we put everything to real how do you to say a test it? to test real, in real life, life. Test. there you go so let's let hunter get in here and tell you about this stuff this is a 1200 watt steam cleaner holds 11.5 fluid ounces and it's supposed to be hot steam to cut through grease grime dirt and killing the bacteria at the same time which is a cool thing i didn't we never used one of these so i'm excited to actually test it out and it heats over 200 degrees fahrenheit for sanitizing cleaning to kill all of bacteria not all but a lot of bacteria it don't say the percentage you know it's like 99.8 <laughs> no, i'm just kidding it's 99.9 point nine point nine but it says a uh, quick warm up time and it comes with 11 multi-surface accessories which those accessories are a funnel measuring cup spray cup with two round brushes a bent spray nozzle long spray nozzle nozzle extension general spray nozzle window window spray nozzle a towel sleeve and a scraper that's pretty cool and it says multiple applications it says it'll do it for kitchen bathroom clothing fabric and automotive so we're going to test the automotive yeah so automotive automotive would be great to test this on guys so if you're really getting into detailing and stuff this could be something you might be interested in i saw people using steamers i never saw them use this one but i'm excited to actually test it out and open this up and see what all it comes with you know what's really cool is harbor freight is a uh, like going out further toward like uh, different detailing fields, not yeah. just hand tools and stuff like that but now it's like detailing and they're trying to offer where you can get everything at one store yeah for automotive so hunter's gonna open this thing up we'll see what kind of size i mean it's in a small pretty small box isn't it yeah it's not big got my icon knife guys if you ain't picked you up one get you one harbor freight i mean icon harbor freight sells the icon knife which is very hunter loves it it's but, good. You know, a lot of people say I'd have it because I don't want to lose my $200 knife. Which, hey, I get it. I that. get it. I 100% get it. So let's see how it is here. Oh, everything's about to fall out. Well, that tells you. What is that? I don't know. That's a part <laughs> the funnel. Wow, that's a little funnel. There's some little pieces. Uh, what is this? Microfiber cloth? Oh, that's cool. That's to get in the tight little spots. Get all this stuff out here so we can see what all it comes with. There's a lot of accessories in here. How many did it say it came with? Oh, that's, whoa. That's, that's the extension. extended one. And then the moment of truth. Is it pretty heavy? No. The box is heavier than the actual tool. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's pretty light. Oh, that piece is for screwing on top. Yeah. Just like that. Well, there it is, guys. Look how small this thing is. I mean, it's not too big. It looks good. Yeah. Oh, and it moves. So like you can so. get different angles. So, so you can do all the different little things with this, like... Like, put this on it. What in the world? Oh, you went under it. Oh, that's so you can get in the little tight areas. I think there's, there we go. It locks on. Look at that. It, that's it's not flexible. No, it's not. It looked like it, but it wasn't. That's what those are for. That's what but this. look at these little uh, a scraper that steam shoots through with a scraper. That's pretty cool. Oh, I see how you do this. There's lines you line up to. <laughs> look at this one. The steam with the brush. Yeah, look at this. Go anywhere you want. Oh yeah, how do you put these on on that? Just like that. No, 
Oh, I say you take something off. Uh, or you got to turn it a certain way. Oh, is. there it goes. Look at that, guys. You can do, really do some detailing. Hey, we'll try this out here shortly. But I'm pre it's pretty impressive, isn't it? It's pretty sweet, and it will tell you when it's ready to go and everything. And we're going to read some of the instructions. So Before we get crazy with it, because yeah. we're going to try it on my truck, and we don't want to ruin nothing. And we've never used one of these before, so we don't want to mess something up and do something wrong. So we're going to read up on that and then get to work. All right, guys, I'm excited about trying this out, aren't you, Hunter? Oh, yeah. It says it takes distilled water, but I went upstairs and distilled this right out of the kitchen. So we'll go ahead and use that and uh, open this garage door. It takes four minutes to, for this thing to warm up. So, it roughly. Roughly. So, so let's go ahead and fill it up. So what we'll do is, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. Oh, it's got an easy pour. Yeah, so it don't pour. spill out. I'll, we'll show you guys that in a second. Here's the funnel. Put it all in. But it has this little part right here to make it where it won't spill on you. Yeah. So we're like chemists today. 230 milliliters is the max it says to put in. So this thing's supposed to be good for a lot of things. Like it shows rims here. So that's what we're going to start out with. Because yeah. if you wait till you see my rims. They're dirty. They're dirty. So we'll see how good this thing does. We'll, we'll start out with the rims and the, probably the inside the door jams. Yep. And I know we talked about some of these things before and this is for the mirror which is really cool it has a little squeegee effect on it but okay since we got that filled up you take the funnel off and you screw that top back on i probably need to go ahead and get the cord so guys we're gonna we're gonna get off here and get everything set up real quick and the stench cord ran and all that stuff and then we'll get right back with you well we can go ahead and start warming it up can't we i mean i guess we could we can plug it in right here yep plug it in so we can see it light up and stuff can you reach to plug it in with that being there? I can or I can't, right? There we go. See, it's lit up. So it it's says around, around four minutes, it'll light up green when it's ready right to use. So I'm just excited because I love trying new things. So we got a rag and steam. We'll see if we can clean rims with just a rag and steam. So let's let it warm up and we'll get to work. Yes. All right, guys. So I want to say thanks to the ones buying keychains. We've got keychains sold all over the place. It's blowing my mind, but I hope they get out there and people notice them and say, what's that about? You know, um, it's about dreaming big because it is possible to dream and have your dreams come true. Yep. If you just do what? Trust in God. Trust in God. You can do anything. Guys, we had th over four years, four years ago? Yep. Four years ago, we just had a little idea and just thought, well, let's get a car. And then we was like, hey, we could do, go on YouTube, try this video. So we done it and we started dreaming big. And then next thing you know, hey. We're able to help people. We're able to help people. Cause that's what this channel's about. We like to give to people. And uh, that's what we sell the keychains. Basically almost anything on our, our merch goes to a hundred percent to give away. But the keychains are a hundred The keychains, especially from forever. Yeah. As long as we have them, that's what it's for is to give to someone because guys it don't cost a bit more to dream big than it does little and i'll dream big because i serve a big guy yes and we do guys what we're going to do look how nasty show them down here how nasty these rims are look how dirty they are They're we're going to try it on that like you can't even get it off with your finger it's so bad yeah but if you scrape it i think yeah see it's thick yeah, look at that, how bad that is. So we're going to see how that steam does. And then we're going to try on the door. The inside of these doors. Because I've never cleaned them since I've had this truck, I don't think. <laughs> and then and then we're thinking of uh, on cars, things that, you know, when you wash it with a brush, it don't always get. Like this right here is hard to clean. The running board. The running boards. So we're going to see it. Can steam do it? I have no idea. It's no soap or nothing. Just steam. 200 and what? How hot does it get? 200 degrees. 200 degrees. And it says it will cut through grease, all that, Dirt, grime, you know, all that stuff. So we're going to see. So this thing's still warming up. So we'll try it out here in a minute and we'll see. All right, guys, we're going to see if this thing works. Yeah, press the lock over. That's weird. You have to hold oh, it over. Too much. You have to hold it over. Which way? You have to hold it with your left. There you go. You gotta hold it upright.
Look at that, dude. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Yeah. Let me wipe it. Oh, it does take it. It does take all that off. Oh, Look yeah. at that. That looks good. Oh. You can The steam lasts a while. I know, it really does. Now watch, see how it dries? Then you just do this. See? Yeah, it just takes that away. Yeah, boy, that thing's hot. 200 yeah, it, it, degrees. Look, it eats it up. It eats it where I can just wipe it off. But it, yeah, it's going to take a lot. Well, your wheels are very, very dirty. Well, all that brake dust, but I mean, it's, it's going to clean it, right? Yeah. Let's try it on that. That'll show the biggest difference because these, these try where it's a little Look, wet you still. can see where I've done it right there. Can you show it right there? Yeah. Look at the difference from that to that. <laughs> yeah, so I mean it shows and man look that is squeaky clean. Feel it. Oh yeah, there's nothing on that <laughs> at all. It hasn't felt that way so, in a long time. Ever. <laughs> so I mean I guess I'll take some time and do all these, but I'll take my time and do that. But let's see what it does on Let's try the door jam. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. You remember, you got to hold it flat. Yep. You know me, I'm good at following the instructions. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You can just see it easier the way. We could try a different nozzle too on it. Yeah, but look at that. Yeah, that does a good job. Look it's it a very clean. Dude, I, can I do my whole truck in it? That'd take forever. <laughs> but look at that, man. I've never in my life have ever seen this door like this. Not even when I bought it. I don't even think, is this nice? No. I mean, look, cause that's pretty clean. That's pretty clean. I it, say let's get a different nozzle out and try it and see what it does. Let's try it on like this bottom rubber piece. Let's do it. All right, we're going to try this alien spacecraft looking one. The extended piece to see how it does. Oh, wow. That puts it really tight. Yeah. Look at that. How long does this water last? I don't know. I think we're about to the end of it. But I mean, that's quite a bit, ain't it? Yeah, I mean, it's done a lot of stuff already. Look there. Oh my goodness. That gets it pretty clean. Oh my goodness, that looks good. That rubber looks brand new. <laughs> Dude, I need to do my whole truck like that. Look at underneath right there. Should I try that? No, you never see that in your truck. Hold on, let's do it. It's like, oh, I come out over there. Oh, right here? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. If you back away, I'll do a wider area. It does cut through everything. That's never been done. <laughs> no. You can see it would clean the pinch weld. Oh, look at that, Hunter. Where I done that? Yeah, that looks good. Well, that's pretty impressive, now. i like to see what it would do on... Oh. You okay? Old man, you know. So, i like to see what it would do on uh, this right here. But I'll have to have the one that will angle. Yeah. We'll try that when you put a little more water in this thing. And then we'll get right back to you. Now, I'll tell you what's pretty cool about this item is it has a... It must have some kind of feature on this thing where 
you cannot take this thing off until you let the pressure off of it. Because if not, I would have made the worst mistake in the world just a second Hot ago. water water. So I was trying face. to turn it, turn it off, turn it off, and it would not. I had to, I had to push the button, let all the pressure off, then I was able to unscrew it. So hey, nice safety feature for we're gonna put a little more water in it and we're gonna change the ends. There's multiple ends here, but we're just gonna do a couple of them in this video. We could we might just show detailing something later into the in the years, you know. And uh but I'm gonna try that bent feature, the bent hose one. Yeah. Because that one to me seems pretty cool. So you can hold the thing level and then yeah, get it you, wherever. You have to hold this thing vertical right yeah perfectly level yeah that is pretty cool that it does that though yeah like it like see i tightened it down you cannot and that's probably why that come up yep and it looked like we didn't have the lid on so now we're gonna warm it back up and then uh, give me an end we'll change it oh gosh that's hot i'll get it to you but we're gonna warm it up and then we'll yeah. get to it all right guys i want you to check out this flexi hose i don't know where to hold it at i don't know if it'll get really we hot can hold it up here like right there okay and then we put the little stiff brush on it and see how it will do because what we're wanting to try to see is we like do it on this this right here yeah It's almost burnt. I mean, it'll dry, but it took all the dirt off of it. Yeah, look at that. It does bring some life into it. Yeah, I wonder if it would do it on this. Oh my goodness. I saw where you can actually put this in your AC vents and clear it out. Oh, like really? you can spray it in there and it'll let all the steam out on the other ones. Let's let that look dry. Look at that step. We're gonna let both these dry and see how they look once they Compared dry. Compared to the other one. Let's see if this would work on the rims, make it even easier. Oh. Well. Talk about violent. <laughs> yeah. Did any hot water get on you? Yeah, no. It's pretty controlled. Oh, it works good with the brush. Look how clean that looks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah, that's dirty. Look at the difference right there. Hold on, let, let it dry a second. But still, that's a big difference. It is. Then you, and then you, after it dries, you gotta wipe it off again. Be good if we had a different rag to wipe it off I with. I know. I'm trying to use a different spot on it. There's so much stuff built on that. You have to wipe it off a couple times, but it does get it pretty oh, good. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, because it took most all that off. It just takes some... And these rims are a dull look. Yeah, they're matte. They're not shiny. No. They are when they're wet. Yep. <laughs> or when I make them shiny. I have a tell, trick Tell them that. the trick. I just use the real high-end tire shine, and I'll, I'll spread on all of That's it. That's what I do on my Jeep wheels. And just wipe it, and it'll last almost a week. But my Jeep, it'll last a long time because they're shiny anyways. Yeah, but It keeps them clean. But look at that. Look, that is, that is like almost spotless. Yeah, it is. That is spotless. Yeah. Look at that to that. Yeah. So, yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, look at this now. It's dried. You can still see all the scratch marks in it, but look. Which I wouldn't take care of that, but it's clean. Oh yeah, it's real clean. That's the, clean. Let's open up this one. Yeah, that bottom step compared to that one. Yeah, look at it. Clean compared to not clean. Compared to not clean. So you <laughs> see how dirty this is? We'll try it on. Let's it. try that real quick and see how it looks. And guys, we're not sponsored by this company or Harbor Freight. Nope. But we do like tools and stuff like that. Oh, wow. 
That's a really good thing for plastic. Yeah. That really does a number. What's on cool it. is you could also use this for. Oh, we'll talk about it a little bit yeah. later in the video. Hold on, because we're well, going to go to the other side. Because when we were doing the vacuum, there's a stubborn spot. You remember it? Nope. In the carpet? Oh, you're going to try it on the carpet? Yeah. Right, let's it do says it. it will. Let's do it. Look at this spot right here. We're going to see if it'll work on that carpet. Because we used the Bauer. Um, you saw in last video, and it didn't. You get this thing. This. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It'll get it. It'll get it. Oh yeah, look at the difference already. <laughs> Just a little more work and... What's cool? There it is. That's good. Wow, you can see it steaming. I know. What's cool is you is this thing's safe to use on carpet. Yep. And that's what I like about it is you could totally detail a car you could uh, use it in your shower. Let's go inside and talk about that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys. Well, it's pretty cool. This thing, you can clean multiple things. It's pretty impressive. But what's cool about it is you can clean grout. You can clean hardwood. You can clean, uh, like, couches and stuff Tile. like that. Tile. I mean, everything. This thing is not just for detailing cars, but it's, you can use it at home use. You can clean your dashes, your, you know, all Another good thing it's good for is removing window tint. Yeah, you can remove your window tint, probably decals. Yeah. Stuff like that. And I it mean, has this scraper, so like the residue from like a sticker or something, you heat it up and then you scrape it with this plastic scraper. Guys, I'm telling you what, you don't have to worry about that if you buy a Price Customs decal because they are like a real decal. They're not like a sticker. That yeah. Is they, you can peel them back off. It's high quality. It's high quality. Like it is high quality stuff because we wanted good decals, and uh, we didn't want a sticker. We wanted a decal. Know, we wanted a de It's and a vinyl decal. It's been on my Papa's truck for ever since we got them. Still looks brand new. Yeah, it looks like it's the day we put it on. Yep. I mean, it's been years. So, guys, tell us what you think about this thing. Would you pick up one? I think it's like what forty thirty nine. Thirty nine ninety nine. Thirty nine ninety nine. You could do multiple uses. This is a tool that you can get that your wife would approve of because you can use it around the house. Yeah. Um, and she would probably use it to uh, steam her clothes to get the wrinkles out. You never know. I don't you know. can use it for that too. Can you? Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's a steamer. You can use it, this part for that. Oh, yeah. Well, you can steam your clothes out and straight. It's, hey, if you want this, guys, for your detailing, tell your wife you're buying this for her to, for her dresses. Cause she don't like to iron she can steam it <laughs> i don't know if that's too hot though I, it might be i don't know i mean i don't know so don't guys don't really, quote us on that don't i don't know if you can do it on clothing but everything else like cars and uh tile and stuff like that you can do it hardwood what would you rate this i will rate i would i would buy this i mean i did but i mean i would do it again i would probably buy it mm, let's say how do we rate things around here just say one out of ten what you thought of one out of ten I'd say an eight because one thing that bothers me is I hate holding something perfectly level. So I'd like to be able to, but I mean, I guess that's what this that's what is for. for, but still, that's the only reason I knock anything off of. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'm, I'm eight just because of, you know, how your I preferences. Yeah. Of, yeah. I'm weird. But guys, make sure you like, subscribe, you know, smash that thumbs up. And remember, it don't cost a bit more to dream big than it does little. And I'll dream big. Because I serve. A big God. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.